We will now try to solve a type 1 and type 2 error problem using the following case. Here we have a machine fills milk bottles. The amount of milk in each bottle is supposed to be 32 ounce with a standard deviation of 0 0.06 ounce. Suppose the mean amount of milk is approximately normally distributed. To check if the machine is operating properly, 36 filled bottles will be chosen at a random and mean amount will be determined. If an alpha 0.05 test is used to decide whether a machine is working properly, what should the rejection criterion be? So if we draw the case in a normal distribution probability, then we will have like this. So let's uh, draw here the line. This is for the Z and this is for the X. Uh, and we know that the mean is 32 with standard deviation of 0.06. And it is said that uh, the alpha is 0.05 and we will have a two tail, um, two side rejection rule. Uh, this would be divide alpha divided by two is 0.025 or 2.5%, uh, yeah. 2.5% or alpha equals to 0 0.025. If you go to the Z table, you will get uh, the Z value is 1.96. And it will be the same here, but with a negative value, 1.96. Now, to get the value of X or the rejection criteria, um, we just need to use the formula of Z, which is X minus mu. This is the sample mean, yeah, divided by standard deviation and the divided by root of N. Uh, so what we're looking for is this X. We know that the Z is 1.96 or the, standard, uh, the standardized value is 1.96. So what is the amount of X1 here? Um, to get it, we just need to insert 1.96 for x1 equals 2 x1 minus the mean is 32 divided by uh, the standard deviation 0 0.06 divided by root of um, 36. For this um, side, you will just you ju will just need to insert 1.96 equals to x2 minus 32 divided by 0 0.06 root of 36. So with your calculator, you will get x1 is just 32 plus 0.0196, which is equal to 32.0196. And x2 is just 32 minus 0.0196, which is equal to 31.9. 804. So the rejection criterion would be reject if x is smaller than a, a 32.0196 ounce or x is larger than 31.9804 ounce. So what happened if the true mean is 32.03 ounce and what is the probability of not rejecting a false hypothesis or uh, doing a type 2 error? This problem, let's try draw, drawing uh, the information that we have. From our 
previous case, we know that we would reject H null if um, the bottle is filled smaller than 31.98 and greater than 32.01. But it turns out that the true, the true mean is 32.03 instead of 32. So let's draw this condition. So this is the true mean, 32.03. And we know that uh, this would be the rejection area. Uh, and this is the not rejecting area following from the first case. This is the not reject area. In other words, not rejecting area while it is a false hypothesis here because the true hypothesis is 32.03. This, this is the area that we want to find. The area that we uh, conducted a type 2 error for not rejecting a false hypothesis. So how to find this uh, type 2 error. The first step is to find out the value of z in this point. Um, to get that, we just need to uh, use the formula 32.0196 minus 32.03 divided by there uh, 0.06, the standard deviation, divided by the root of 36. And you will get minus 1.04. Remember that um, what we are looking for is the area in the left side of minus 1.04. So what we do is we want to find the probability of z, which is smaller than uh, minus 1.04. Let's look at the uh, z table and you will get this value 0.41492. So, in conclusion, the type 2 error or the beta is just equal to 15%. And the power test is equal to 1 minus uh, the beta, which is 85%. This is just an additional. What we're looking for is actually the probability of conducting a type 2 error. By this time, I expect you have understood the concept uh, in hypothesis testing and type 2, type 1 error and you can now conduct hypothesis testing using statistics. So see you in other videos.